hey guys welcome back uh, so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to uh, make a blog so this is the third part of the video where we are going to put the content from the database into our pages main pages okay so guys till now we have done till here about index page and uh, how to add this carousel slider and make this some data okay so in previous video we have done this this was a part 2 of index page and uh, let us go to about us page and let's design a simple design and we'll put the data from the our admin panel which is uh, we have started in the previous videos okay so if you want to know how to design an admin panel uh, link is given in the description so you can find out over there so guys now let's click on the about us page okay so blog php about us so let's go to about.php so about and this is my file okay so this is the header navbar and footer okay so if you're not understanding how this is included so you can watch out from the first part of the php blog okay so guys let's get started with this and yep so let's do a container so inside one container i will design one row and i'm going to divide a column md8 where column and i will copy one card inside this okay so let's go to get bootstrap.com i was using md bootstrap.com in this tutorial so let's go okay there is some establishing database connection error in that so we will not be using this one so we are going to use get bootstrap only okay so this is some server problem is there on this connection so let's go to get bootstrap.com and click on documentation so after documentation components so inside components we have a card okay so I'm going to click on the card so after that card I will find a this card simple card okay so let's copy this card okay copy and paste it over here paste done so yeah guys so this was our column and end of the column okay and now we should put one image over here so before that I will show you the output now for this let's get back to the first site and it is something like this okay so let's design it so let me remove this style which is from the default I don't need this and uh, let's give padding okay for the py padding 5 and I'm going to give padding 3 right and let's check it is coming down okay now I need one image simple image so so I'll paste the image path okay so this is my image path nothing else and that's it okay so let me save let's get back reload okay so this is the image which is I have directly linked from the Google okay and this is my card title and the content over here it should be okay so this will be my title this is my description and one more we will give some links okay so guys and now we will fill this gap also with some notices like something etc so guys this is our column and and uh, now I'm what I'm going to do is that I'll start one column MD4 okay so after 8 plus 4 is equal to 12 so always it's a column of 12 okay so 12 column we can make so guys now I will yep so I'll copy this exact card same thing copy the card and paste it inside this right and I don't need this image inside this so I'll remove that image done save let's reload okay it is coming over here hmm? now it's done guys okay so let's uh, do this for the from the database we will retrieve that is title will be about us and uh, description about my website all it will be retrieved from the database 
and here we'll give like something notices or some extra values we can give or else just you can give the title directly default values like um notice notice we can type this is funda of web it tutorials for creating a blog in php okay so exactly like this you can make and one more i'll copy it and paste it that's it it can be done like this if you need just give a hr horizontal row so you can design it better way also if you have any idea more okay horizontal row is coming so guys now let's go to the admin part and let's retrieve the values from there so i'm going to press control t new tab so i will show you inside the code yeah so this is my admin panel right admin folder which we are continuing from the previous video so guys i have given the link into the description for this admin so let's go to the admin part so localhost blog php and admin okay if i click admin admin login login with at gmail.com 1234 enter okay oh it's not a user defined so let me okay so let's go to admin so guys admin i have given with one at gmail.com 1234 and let's log in okay so it is logging to the main board okay so guys now i'm going to create one uh, about us section inside this pages i will rename this okay so for this uh, you have to understand how did we make this everything how did we make admin profile where we are adding and deleting it so guys we have to continue with this so let's go to our admin and inside admin navbar we have to go let me close this okay so inside navbar i have my components right so these are the files so it is two big files so what i'm going to do is that i'll see this components let's give control f components okay so it's over here only so this is my components i'll name this as pages okay so web pages we can tell okay web pages let's reload and it's written web pages and inside this i'm going to type as um about us okay so let's mention that called where is it yep this is buttons so instead of buttons we'll give about us about us and we will type this as abouts dot php oops abouts dot php file that is where it is actually um it's over here right so we have to create one file for this abouts where we are going to insert the data okay so let's create one file so about us okay so take this about us and create a file okay so about us and inside admin folder i am going to create one about us file so inside admin new file about us dot php i have given enter okay so this is my file and hello admin about us okay so let's get back reload the page click and about us so i'm going to click about us about us page came hello admin about us okay so now we are we have to include all this sidebar navigation bar and one table right so for that we have already done with one registration i'll show you for example 
admin profile if i click it is coming register.php so i'll copy all the things so register.php so this is my file so i'm going to include all this copy this and paste it over here and let's go to ending that is footer so copy this and paste it over here right let's reload click about us so we are getting the data of script side and everything okay so guys now we have completed this and we will be doing with the crud application to view the output over here right so guys let's get started with that mm, yes so now we will copy the structure from this okay so as we have mentioned in the registration all this design and all so as same like that we will mention for about us dot php file okay so let's go to the coding and we will see in the registration form okay so it is mentioned over here uh, you might get confused so i'll just directly paste it now so guys this is a about us page okay so there's a container inside that container i have done the card okay so this is my button where i can add and this is the title where i have set the above about us okay and then i have created a simple table where i am giving its uh, id is default so title subtitle description and links okay in about us page so this will be the contents and these are the datas okay row so uh, we are not echoing right now so we will just remove this and keep one one and some title name we will give that is um about about us okay about about funda of web it okay and then we'll give some the what is that subtitle okay tutorials for php blog okay and the name will give us something like i mean descriptions so description and here you can give any link whatever you want okay so the link is like www.getbootstrap.com so you can give like that and this is the edit and delete button okay and simple that's it so i have nothing done in this only the designing part so let me reload the page and it is over here right so guys it is all about the thing in this now data table is ready so guys when i click add one pop-up model should come up okay so for that let's go to getbootstrap.com and let's see in where is that model 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 okay it's over here model and uh, simple model we will take okay so this is a live demo launch one simple model is coming up okay so i'm going to take this copy this okay so let's copy this not this one launch there is no in this text box okay so in this uh, the paragraph so we'll see for this this is also paragraph where it is showing okay we'll see with the input fields where it is okay um, there is nothing like that in this with the text box so i'm going to add start okay so this is a model and let's copy this model only okay simple model so i'm going to just take this copy and let's get back and just paste it above the container okay so i pasted it when i click this button the model will pop up okay so what i'm going to do is this i'll just copy this cut and paste it over this button okay control v 
okay let's give control V and it's done right so instead of this I'll give add okay and this is the ID where we will tell um, about us model model okay so copy this and mention it over here okay so this is about us model and let's save this go back reload the page and click add okay the model is popping up so to work this you have to ma make sure that you have included your script okay so script should be included right so without that it won't execute so guys now we are going to add a, a form inside this body okay so I've already designed it or else you can get in this so let's go to the forms so where is the form okay so this is a simple form designed over here so I'm going to copy this and paste it over there okay so let's copy this copy and get back and paste inside this model body okay so this is the form done and uh, remove some things which we don't need okay so I'll show you execute add and this is the content so whatever you need according to the fields we will edit it okay so let's get back so guys um, we have done till here and uh, now I have designed the form so inside the form I have saved the button and the um, fields okay so a simple title subtitle description and the links okay these are my input fields where I have given the name description title and subtitle okay so this is the thing where I have given a button to save that that is submit and uh, about us given and it is going to the action code dot php with the method post okay so for this let's get to the go to the code dot php file and start with this coding part okay so before that before that I will show you the output of it okay so control R and let's add okay so this is the title now we are going to enter in this so this should not be an input it should be a text area right so we can enter more details over there so let me close this and let's tell us text area t e x t a r e a okay text area and we will mention the text area and okay so done and let's see the output of it so it is coming the text area right so as you can enter over here and save all the details like this okay so now let's uh, close this and guys in next video we'll be continuing how to store this value into the database and then retrieve on the main page here over here okay so just we will follow in the next video because this video is extended okay guys so thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share